Some evolution scientists theorize that feathered dinosaurs existed in the past. In support of this belief, museums have added feathers to many common dinosaur models, such as this Velociraptor exhibited at the Museum of Victoria in Australia. Opponents of evolution and even some evolution scientists have criticized this practice since no feathers have been found with any dinosaur fossil. In an open letter to the National Geographic Society, Dr. Sturz Olsen, a Smithsonian Institute evolution scientist, has referred to the practice of adding feathers to dinosaurs as propaganda, hype, wishful thinking, melodramatic, nonsense, spurious, fantasia, and a hoax. He wrote, the idea of feathered dinosaurs and the theropod origin of birds is being actively promulgated by a cadre of zealous scientists acting in concert with certain editors at Nature and National Geographic who themselves have become outspoken and highly biased proselytizers of the faith. Truth and careful scientific weighing of evidence have been among the first casualties in their program which is now fast becoming one of the grander scientific hoaxes of our age. This practice may not be the only scientific impropriety in the bird evolution evidence list. In the mid-1990s, a whole series of fossils with feathers were found in the Liaoning province of China. According to evolution scientists, the discovery of unique feathered fossils supports bird evolution. But reliability problems have emerged for these fossils. Dr. Timothy Rowe is a paleontologist who supports evolution and runs the University of Texas CAT scan laboratory. Dr. Rowe had the unique opportunity to closely examine a Chinese fossil called Confucius Ornis, which to the naked eye appeared to be a solitary fossil. I believe we scanned this in 1997. It was just shortly after the bonanza of Liaoning had hit the news in a big way. I'd never handled any of these specimens before. And this was brought to me and I thought this was how it came out of the ground. And I thought, wow, what an awesome specimen. It was complete and um, massive and, and it was easy to handle. And only by scanning it did I learn, in fact, how it had been repaired. But after scanning the fossil, Dr. Rowe began to question its authenticity. And when I handled it, it was very well built. It, it felt like a single massive piece of rock. And only by looking at it in cross-section could I see that it was built in three layers, two of which were natural, and the intervening layer was made by humans. And so this really started me thinking, well, there's, hmm, there, there's a little more here than meets the eye. Grout and metal chips lay hidden inside the fossil, which became obvious when subjected to the scrutiny of the CAT scan. The fossil had been carefully painted to hide alterations. But once we scanned it, we could see the grout layer. And so when we see steel objects in these things, we know that it's got to be made by humans. Upon further evaluation, Dr. Rowe found a piece of the jaw had been substituted with a bone from another animal. Well, I have no idea what animal this piece came from. It's just a very small fragment of bone, and it was probably chipped out to uh, fit this space. So I have no idea where this uh, extraneous piece came from. There are some other odd pieces around the edges, too, that, that uh, don't uh, fit on this. This first encounter with a Chinese specimen would not be Dr. Rowe's last. A second Chinese fossil was brought to him by a scientist from National Geographic magazine. This fossil, called Archaeoraptor, was purported to be an unusual missing link, which would, once and for all, prove that birds evolved from dinosaurs. It had a long, featherless tail, similar to dinosaurs, but it also had feathers and a bird-like body, giving the appearance of two different animals blended together, just as Darwin predicted. As Dr. Rowe carefully scanned the Chinese specimen and watched the cross-sectional images appear on the computer screen, he noticed something was very wrong. Dr. Rowe discovered that 26 fossil bones from five animals, including a dinosaur and a bird, had been fraudulently constructed to make a transitional fossil. And that was the thing that caught our attention first. We could find no verifiable fit between the tail, the most spectacular part of the specimen. We could find no verifiable fit between that piece and any of the other parts of the block. And 
We found other irregularities as well. Even though it seems to fit tightly in here, when you look at it in cross-section, you can see that this piece and this piece have no verifiable association with the pieces around them. The next thing happened where the two shin bones were glued in. And likewise, these have no verifiable associations. The next thing that happened is that the foot was glued on. And I say foot rather than feet because this is a single foot. This is a slab and counter slab that were split and separated and glued in place to make it look as though there were right and left feet there. Uh, it's a clever use of materials. You know, if you're limited, you take a single foot and turn it into two. You know, very, very creative. This schematic diagram shows how many different fossils and rocks were used to create Archaeoraptor. Each color represents a different type of rock and a different type of animal. Dr. Rowe reported his startling discoveries to the National Geographic scientist. Yet soon afterwards, the unexpected happened. National Geographic held a press conference announcing the discovery of Archaeoraptor, failing to disclose the fossil as a fraud. And, uh we provided the data and our interpretation to the representatives of Geographic and the, uh, the scientists in charge as he walked out of the building his last comment to me was well all of these Chinese things have been fiddled with but he understood that there were profound questions surrounding this and we'd been brought in as consultants simply to scan the specimen and uh, which we did we presented our interpretation original copies of the data to all parties. And uh, it was a, a total shock when the news conference came that they were announcing that this was a valid specimen. Three months after the original CAT scan was performed, National Geographic published its story about the discovery of Archaeoraptor. The article claimed that Archaeoraptor was a flying dinosaur, a missing link and the best evidence that birds evolved from dinosaurs but failed to reveal the serious discrepancies found by Dr. Rowe. Those who oppose evolution suggest that if evolution scientists have to add scales to the heads of birds, add feathers to dinosaurs when neither have been found, or resort to creating fraudulent fossils as evidence for evolution, then there must be no proof Scientists who support evolution acknowledge that individual scientists have made mistakes, but these are corrected over time. This is how science works. Many are still convinced birds evolved from dinosaurs.